Hello, folks. Welcome to day number two, lesson number two in the ukulele series. Um, hope you guys had a lot of fun with yesterday's lesson. I know lots of info, and it might have been uh, two weeks until you're coming to today's lesson, which is great. Uh, I'd rather you have everything than I would for you to skip ahead and uh, so forth, unless you've nailed everything and have committed it all to memory. Or if you've just been committed, uh, glad to see you here at the Nut House. Okay, so um, we did all that stuff in C. Okay, moving on to the F, which is fully expected. As I said, uh, C, F, and G are the three chords everybody learns right off the bat. But we're going to embellish all of these. So we've done the C stuff. Um, and we've done the... We've done and so forth okay um, the F as we normally know it gets um, as boring as anything but we're used to playing okay so have we played it up here before have you played it up here let's say that and Um, that's some more stuff we can get into. Yes, that's other things we can play later. Um, if you ever want to get into such things. Yes, blues, ukulele. Um, it can be quite groovy. Um, but this here is to uh, show you other places to play the F chord and a way to play so many other chords by using this particular method and this way of doing it and learning the notes again that will like come after C and then now that you have normal um, simple little places to go in your C So, of course, we'll get simple things like that. That's what we're after, but all of the other stuff to be able to play the more busy, melodic stuff is going to be taught today as well. And always pick one or two of those notes to enhance your chords. That's the main goal of this stuff in the beginning, as always, and then add the other stuff in if you wish. If not, uh, save it for a rainy day because it'll always be on my ear. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to all the stuff uh, that is in F, which is for fun. Hey. Okay, thanks for sticking around, folks. Uh, we are ready to take our typical F chord as we normally play it. Okay, up here on the high G string at the second fret, middle finger. Okay, then of course you have your C string open and your E string first fret and A string open as you normally would. There's one little note I want to make sure you're getting because it's just a cool sound and that is simply moving the uh, second fret that you have up here on the G string back one fret. Okay, it sounds cool in the context of not just like this. You're like, ooh, yuck. Um, but if we're playing in C, it's just a nice little addition if you're going back to the C chord. Okay, and that's where you would use it, getting ready to go back to the C. So. Okay, so it sounds really cool to... Make sure you hit that open G string again after that, okay? 
Ayan. That sounds really great like that. Okay, the thing is, is to um, get a couple things out of this F chord um, the way it is and to move it somewhere where it's um, groovy as well. Um, So these little things, and are going to be shown. Okay, so let's go to our typical F chord. We can put our pinky, okay, on the um, E string, third fret. It's what's called a hammer on again. Okay, you hit that E string. Put your pinky slamming on down, hammering on. You pick it once, and then it just goes on there. And it's nice to go ahead and hit um, your A string after that. Okay. And if you take your finger off of the G string, come down here to the uh, C string, play it open, hammer on to the second fret, okay, hit the note there on uh, the E string, I just keep doing that to show you uh, where it's going and that it can be cool too like that, um, but Okay, there's how you would normally use it um, when you're playing at this level right now. It's just flavor. It's a little bit of salt, a pinch of pepper, whatever. Okay, you don't have to go all kinds of crazy. Or you can use the one as that we did. So like after C, F, So a lot of these are meant strictly for enhancement, just again, a little bit of embellishment and so forth. So there's a lot of information and only a little bit of it needs to be used. You have a ton of information here to pick from. Don't think you have to do all of these, but knowing all of them gives you a ton of places to go and a lot more ways to express what's in your head. Okay, um, you're like, no, not that one. I, I hear this one in my head, and you'll know how to get to it. Okay, the other thing to do here is, yeah, I'm moving on real fast, because um, rewind always works. Um, normal, F. Okay, we're going up, like I said before, uh, we're going up to frets three and three, so I'm gonna call out three and three. We're gonna do it on the G string. Uh, we're gonna do it on the E string. Okay, we're skipping the C. You can play the C string if you want. The big thing is, is to hit the G string harder. You don't have to hit them like that. You can hit them like however you want to. It don't matter. And you can use those notes uh, individually. Okay? Okay, so whatever you want to do. But again, they are third fret, third fret. So I just say three and three, then five and five. Back, back to normal. Okay, so that's how you get those. Okay, it 
can be as out there as you want. Again, as you you can do what you want. Um, okay, we're switching places, and this is where it gets cooler. Uh, the F chord with one finger. Now, we're getting away from that F chord shape. Okay, we're just doing one finger at the fifth fret. Okay, all the way across. Okay, you're like... You sure that's an F? Yeah, it is. Okay, um, everything's just in a different location, but it's all an F. Now, to complete the chord to the way that we're used to hearing the C chord, that's what we want to do. Okay, um, you can do this one of two ways. The way I just showed you, putting the uh, high note in. Okay, um, when you put it in there, all the way up at the eighth fret, um, it really, really fills it out. The other place that you can use that a little bit is to reconstruct everything. Put your first finger at the third fret, okay, on the A string, and then three individual fingers on all the others for your typical F chord that you're going to find in a few music, music books. Um, do I advise that one? You can do it if you want to. But you have no room to move anything. It's just a chord. You can't do anything with it. There's just nowhere to go with all of your fingers used up like that. Okay, so either go that way and just have a different voice than that. Okay, you can get that same voice by putting a pinky up at the third fret. Okay, up on your A string. And it almost sounds just like. Um, but the other cool one I want to use today is again all the way on the fifth fret and pinky up on the eighth. That's the whole chord I want you to use. And I want you to do the scale that we did yesterday uh, when we were on the C. This time, it's exactly the same. Um, just have to give you fret numbers. So there's eight, seven. Okay, just watch my fingers for which ones I'm using. Eight. And yes, you're seeing me, because you can use that kind of thing if you want. But right now, eight, seven, Okay, that's five, because we're fretting it. Okay, then eight, six, five. Now seven, five. Okay, you could hear joy to the world there. Okay. Okay, so that's uh, just on the three strings. Can play that uh, upper G string, of course, um, along with the whole chord. Okay, so this is to have more notes to choose from. So you're playing an F. Okay, that's a suspended fourth. That's from counting upward from the F. One, two, from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. That stuff. So it's adding the four note. One, two, one, two, three, four. So you're playing along and you want to add that note. You'll notice that the suspended fourth is always a great choice. Always, 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 always. Okay, um, a suspended second. 
What well, the word suspended just means add. So you add a four note, or you add a two note, or you add a five, which is um, the way it is. It just means add. So a suspended second means add a two. So you're doing do re mi fa so. So you're one two. So you're gonna add that note. It's one two. One two. So add the two. Normal. Add the two and the four now. Okay, again, you saw me just using my little creativity, doing what I want with it. Okay, the sus four. We uh, call it the sus four because. That's what it will say in music books, S-U-S. -S. And it's a lot easier than saying suspended. Okay? Uh, the sus4 is a really cool thing. Okay? And now if we take that and go um, back to... Uh, part of the C chord I showed you, um, which I will get to more um, real close to now, um, will take us to a cool sound. So the F, sus4, sorry, to the C. Um, sounds really cool because when we're in C, we can add the sus4. And if you remember, it's just by putting the pinky underneath there. Okay. If you uh, do know or don't know, the C um, is three, three, barred across, meaning two fingers covered, I mean, sorry, two frets covered by one finger. Then on your um, C string, we have the fourth fret. And then again, all the way up on your high G, we're at the fifth fret. So we have. And suspended four again is putting your pinky on your third string up, okay, or your C string, and putting it at the fifth fret. Put it on the fifth fret, okay, on your uh, uh, E string, okay. Or up here on your A string. Okay, so there's a lot to do with this chord. I'm going to go over a lot more of that um, tomorrow. Okay, but right now in F, um, yeah, you had that sus4. And you have Okay, it's cool to do the little lick, which is a straight uh, a lick is a uh, series of notes which sound. You know, it's just what's called a lead lick, or just a uh, quick idea uh, selection of notes thrown in there. Um, you just feel groovy, so you play a lick, which is a group of notes that are something that you have in your head, ingrained, ready to play at any given moment in any given key. Like, I'd know wherever I want to play it. because I know that's called a lick. It is something that can be used at any time. Um, so after that lick, it's nice to use that sus4 again. Okay, so if you are playing the scale backward as a lick or part of it,
get that suspension, which always. Um, puts a little bit of familiarity with you and an audience's ear. They like the suspended fourth sound. It's just the way it is. Okay? So, that's enough for a whole lesson right there for sure. Um, a lot of things for the F. It's not everything, but it's a lot. And we got a little bit of the C thing going uh, with this different shape. And we'll concentrate on that some more. Okay, so hope you dug that one and see you tomorrow or in five weeks or whatever uh, it takes for you to digest that. And looking forward to it. You guys stay groovy. Bye-bye.